Hi, my name is Malin. I come from China. I'm working in the Department of Clinical Laboratory, the second hospital of Shenzhen University. Today, I'm very glad to introduce our work, which has been accepted uh, in the neuropsychiatric disease and treatment. Subarachnoid hemorrhage can induce apoptosis in many brain regions. However, few studies have focused on apoptosis in the hypothalamus. The purpose of this study was to evaluate whether SAH could induce apoptosis in the hypothalamus and identify the potential molecular mechanisms underlying the actions of anti-TNF-alpha antibody. SAH was induced in the red model. 30 minutes before SAH, the anti-TNF-alpha antibody or an ERK inhibitor was micro-injected into the left, left lateral cerebral ventricle. PMA was injected intraperitoneally immediately after the antibody micro-injection. Then, real-time PCR, basin blotting, and uh, immunohistochemistry were used to detect uh, the expression of different uh, molecules. Finally, anxiety-like behavior was identified by using open field. We found that the levels of CRISPR-3, BEX, and BCL2 all showed a temporary rise after SAH in the hypothalamus, indicating the induction of apoptosis. Interestingly, we found that the micro-injection of anti-TNF-alpha antibody could selectively block the elevated levels of BEX, suggesting the potential role of this antibody in the inhibition of SAH-induced of apoptosis in the hypothalamus. Moreover, we found that ERK activation was necessary for apoptosis after SAH. Anti-TNF-alpha antibody could inhibit apoptosis by suppressing the increase of phosphorylated ERK in the hypothalamus. Finally, the infusion of anti-TNF-alpha antibody could improve anxiety-like behavior. Our findings will help to improve our, our understanding of the precise role of anti-TNF-alpha antibody in SAH-induced apoptosis. Thank you.